Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this Mother's Day card. Open a new document, change the fill to None and leave the stroke black. Next go to View and make sure the Smart Guides are selected. First we will create a part of a heart that will look like this. Press the letter P for the pen tool or select it from the toolbar panel and let's draw a heart. Click on the artboard, hold and drag up. While you are dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well to constrain it. Now release the mouse and then release the key. Next click over here, hold and drag. And finally click somewhere on this guide, hold and drag again. Let's copy and reflect this part. Switch to the selection tool and drag a box to select everything. Now press the letter O for the Reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel and while holding down the ALT key click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Choose the vertical axis and click Copy. Next we'll join these two parts together. First switch to the Direct Selection tool and drag a box around the two end anchor points on the top. Now press the Ctrl and J keys on your keyboard to join them together. And let's do the same with the two end anchor points on the bottom. First select both of them and then either press the Ctrl and J keys on your keyboard or right click with your mouse and choose Join. Let's resize it. Now open the Align panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Align. Make sure Align to Artboard is checked and then choose Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. In the next step, we'll cut two segments from the sides of this heart. To do that, we'll use the Scissors tool. First press the letter C for the Scissors tool or select it from the toolbar panel. It is hidden under the Eraser tool. Next, click on the path to make your first cut and another one down below. Let's do the same with the other side. Now go to the Layers panel and let's lock the layer with this segment. We will use it later. Then select the segment on the left and press the Delete key on your keyboard. We won't need it anymore. Next, open the Swatches panel. You can choose any color you like. Here is the color group I will be using for this project. First select the top part and change its color. Next open the stroke panel. Let's increase the stroke weight to 14 points and choose the width profile number 2. Now select the bottom part, choose the same color, change the stroke weight to 14 points as well and this time choose the width profile number 4. In the next few steps we'll add this text. First select the Type tool, click on the artboard and type your text. Let's resize it and place it over here. Now highlight it and choose a different font. Let's make it a little bigger and using the Character panel adjust it as much as you like. Try to be creative. Next we will add a gradient to it. First we need to convert it into shapes. Let's select our text, now go to Type and choose Create Outlines. Next open the Gradient panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Gradient. Now click on the color that you like, hold and drag it to the slider. And let's add two more colors. Now adjust the gradient's direction. Finally, we'll replace this segment with flowers. To do that, open the Symbols panel, click on the Symbol Libraries menu icon, select Flowers and click on the one that you like. Close this window, then click on Flower, hold and drag it to the artboard. Let's resize it. Make a copy of it and place it over here. We'll use it later. Next, we'll create a line of flowers and replace the black segment with them. 
First, select the flower, now click on it, hold and drag. Where you are dragging your mouse, press the Shift and Alt keys as well to make a copy. Let's resize it. Next, select both flowers, go to Object, Blend and choose Blend Options. Select Align to Path from the orientation, change the spacing to Specified Steps and type 4. We can always adjust it later. Now go to Object again, Blend and choose Make or use the keyboard shortcuts. Next we'll need to unlock the layer with the black line segment. Make sure it is selected and holding down the Shift key select the flowers as well. Go to Object again, Blend and choose Replace Spine. If you would like to add more flowers or reduce the amount, go to Object again, Blend, Blend Options. Now turn on the preview box, then single click in the window next to the number and using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard, adjust the amount of flowers. You can also adjust the spacing between the flowers by selecting one of the anchor points and moving the bezier handles. Now select the letter O shape, press the delete key on your keyboard and move this flower in its place. Finally select everything, go to Effect, Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. And let's make a few more adjustments. Thanks for watching, bye bye.